In this video I'm going to give you a proof that shows that a potential flow is always irritational and this follows from the definition of a potential flow. So let's start by looking at some definitions. Definitions. Right. So what's the definition of a potential flow? Well a potential flow is a flow that can be written as follows. The velocity of that flow is equal to the gradient of some function u and u is of course broken down into components u, v and w. So definition of potential flow is that the velocity is the gradient of some function which we'll call u. An irritational flow is one such that the curl of this velocity equals zero. So if we take the curl of the velocity field we get zero for an irritational flow. So we expect that del cross del u will be equal to zero. So we want to prove this. Now just some more definitions. Clearly you should know that um, del u is the derivative with respect to x, derivative with respect to y and the derivative with respect to z of this function u. So let's actually do the proof across here. So we've got um, this cross product. So we're doing this cross this. So obviously this is going to be um, i, j, k and we've got delta by delta x, delta by delta y, delta by delta z. This is simply this del is broken down into those components and here we've got this substitute in here delta u delta x delta u delta y delta u delta z now if we actually do this cross product um, we're going to get I'll just write the first one out del squared u delta y delta z minus del squared u delta z delta y in i and here's how I do this. Basically cover this one up and then cover that up like that and we've got delta multiplying these and then the other way and that gives you this thing here. So delta by delta u, delta y, delta z and then delta y, uh, delta z, delta y on i. Um, and we're going plus, minus, plus. So you've got this pattern here which this follows. So the next step is this one which gives us minus delta squared u delta z delta x minus delta squared u delta x delta z plus delta squared u delta x delta y minus delta squared u delta y delta x. Now you'll notice that these are sort of the same thing. You've got delta x, delta y and delta y delta x. Um, if you assume that these are the same thing, so a continuously differentiable um, function, we can say well that's going to be zero that's going to be zero, that's going to be zero. So essentially the curl um, of this delta u delta y simply equals zero i plus zero j plus zero k, so that's zero. So therefore it is irritational, it fits the definition of being irritational and if it is a potential function this must be true, therefore this must be true because of this proof. So there you go, that's why a potential function must be irritational. It flows straight from the definition. So hopefully this is helpful and thank you for watching.